The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Wrestling fans, Todd Kennelly here, along with Blake Bulletproof Troop, Jack Farmer. Welcome to Championship Wrestling. We're just doing our homework on a little bit of old school wrestling because we are going to feature 21st century old school in the United Wrestling Network television champion, Levi Shapiro. Now, we thought it was going to be a history of that prestigious title, but thanks to Howdy Price, howdy everyone, it's going to be a whole lot of the timeless one. Yeah, he Levi Shapiro keeps saying he's timeless, but I don't see him mentioned anywhere in these magazines. Well, I mean, he is a legend, uh, Blake, or so he says. At least in his own head he is. All right, a legend in his own mind, perhaps. But if this title reign continues, perhaps one day he will find himself in the history books, so to speak. We're going to see Shapiro take on then-champion Dan Joseph, as well as Phoenix's favorite son, EJ Sparks, and a big main event title defense. All that coming your way on Championship Wrestling. It is main event time on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Quite a vendetta continues. Another chapter in the rivalry between challenger and champion. There you see Howdy Price alongside the challenger, timeless Levi Shapiro. He's had a number of opportunities. Can he finally get it done and win the United Television title this time out? Imagine the prize that that would be to put on the Price Check Ranch, the charging bull with the iron claw, the golden horns, and a golden title to go with it. No doubt about it, either that or one heck of a hood ornament for that big Cadillac that he drives around. And there he is. All right. Hopefully many more. There he is, the United Television Champion, Dan Joseph, a fighting champion if there ever was one. Recent title defenses against the likes of EJ Sparks, Slice Boogie, and Levi Shapiro, although some controversy in their last outing on Primetime Live. Always excited to see Dan Joseph. He always brings the energy. Here to set the stage for our main event, Adnan Qureshi. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United Television Championship. Introducing first, the challenger. Being accompanied to the ring by Howdy Price. From Richmond, California, weighing in at 210 and three quarters pounds. Timeless, Levi Shapiro! Yes, new champion! Coming over the back, he looks better on him. He's damn happy with it. He looks fantastic with it. He's Shut up! And after introducing after the after champion you from Buffalo, New York, weighing in at 206 pounds, Ooh. he is the United Television Champion, Dan Ooh. Joseph! Ooh. Stage is set for this one, and boy, you can cut the tension with a knife, guys. Champion and challenger, all kinds of fired up, Alyssa. Dan Joseph said he is going to be the champion forever, and he certainly is a fighting champion at that. This is going to be the fourth time that Levi Shapiro has faced him for this title? That's true, first time out, Levi Shapiro got the victory, although it was by disqualification thanks to the Interjection of Levi's former partner, Buddy Royal, then a loss, and then primetime live. You know, I mean, it was over almost before it started. That short drop kick by Dan Joseph got the cover. There was a little bit of question in the count, and uh, I'm sure that Howdy Price filed some sort of injunction and got, got his man another shot. 
Heidi Price certainly raised some concerns with the ending of the match and, uh, and the decision that was made. So here we are, another rematch. I gotta ask you this, Blake, as a, as a, as a fighter in combat sports, how difficult is it to get an advantage on your opponent when you fought the same opponent now for the fourth time? So I was just gonna say that I actually really respect both guys for getting in here because both guys have losses to each other. Whether there was some questionability to it or not, Dan Joseph was losing significantly in the first matchup before Buddy came out and interfered. But it didn't stop him from getting back into the ring with Levi and beating him might be questionable to some people. But I actually respect both guys for taking losses and confidently coming back into this ring to challenge again for the belt. But now look, Howdy Price, it looks like in the corner of Levi Shapiro, is he giving him sound advice? Is he giving him some strategy? Or is he stacking the deck in Levi Shapiro's favor? You know, he's been known to use that loaded glove. Is there some dirty work afoot? Well, there it is right now, switching up. Gonna say you wanna test the strength, why don't you try this one on for size? You know, you've, you've mentioned that loaded glove utilized in the claw, utilized in strikes, and perhaps utilized in a test of strength as well. And Dan Joseph did not want any part of that glove. See it right there. So it's running some space in the head of the champion, guys. Dan or he's Joseph's conducting so himself in a very smart way where he doesn't want to get in with that glove. We know Howdy and Levi are always up to something. So maybe Dan Joseph made the right choice by not going head to head with that loaded glove. Almost like in a fight, if somebody's got a big right hand, you want to, you don't want to circle right into it, right, boy? 100% smart strategy by the champion. Challenger now getting real physical real quick, taking control of the matchup. And Dan Joseph hit hard and heavy in that turnbuckle, and that was a turning point in the early going. And like a shark smelling blood in the water, the challenger, timeless Levi Shapiro, a veteran of the ring, jumped right on it and has taken over his championship main event. The aggression that we saw in the immediate switching of gears by Levi Shapiro is absolutely a veteran move. Yeah, the shoulders of Dan Joseph down, it looked like. But you gotta wonder, it, yes, is it getting inside the, oh, shoulders of Levi. Both of these men so incredibly driven, so focused with that United Television Championship on the line. You got to imagine there's nothing they won't do to secure a victory. Well, you heard it. Dan Joseph saying he's going to be champion forever. Holding on to the hair. Look at that. Blatant rule breaking, but it allows him to hold on to that side headlock. And then he caught him right there with that right hand. That really tells us how bad Levi Shapiro wants this belt. He is willing to break the rules to take it home. Levi Shapiro is willing to, to break the rules in any way, shape, or form. Look at him taking some liberties. And Howdy Price choking Dan Joseph in the corner while the, our referee is distracted. At Car Shield, we want our employees to be themselves. Woo! Where's my yogurt? Woo! How'd that taste? But at the end of the day, it's all about the customer. Car Shield's doing it better than anybody else alive. They're the money-saving, roadside assisted, son of a gun protecting you from expensive car breakdown. Car Shield cars go farther. Woo! This is an advertisement for legal services. Important news for farm workers and others exposed to the weed killer Paraquat and who were later diagnosed with Parkinson's disease or told by a doctor they might have Parkinson's disease. If you or a loved one worked around the weed killer Paraquat and were then diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, call the law offices of Davis and Crump right now at the number below to see if you are eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Call Davis and Crump right now. Operators are standing by. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and as you know, my passion is to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. That's why I created my new Giza Dreams bed sheets. I started by using the world's best cotton called Giza. It's only grown in a region between the Sahara Desert, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Nile River. It's ultra soft and breathable, but extremely durable. My Giza sheets also include full 21-inch wide pillowcases that will fit over any pillow and deep pocket sheets that will fit over over any mattress. The first night you sleep on my sheets, you'll never want to sleep on anything else. Go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen right now to get your very own MyPillow Giza Dream Sheets. Giza Dream Sheets are available in a variety of colors. Use the promo code and Mike will give you two for one low price and free shipping. That's right, get two for one low price plus free shipping. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com.
Bulldogs.com. Firing from underneath, and, but it's tough. It's tough to battle from underneath because Shapiro doesn't make a lot of mistakes, Alyssa. Shapiro certainly does not. I was speaking with actually Howdy Price earlier about the importance of capturing the United Television Championship, and he said that that would prove that the Price Check Ranch is made up of grade A, top quality hoss meat. And Pri Howdy Price trying to ensure that over here, but it looks like he might have taken the, the brunt from Dan Joseph. Heading back to the Price Check Ranch, scurrying back. Howdy Price, don't, you don't want to pull something there, Howdy. But now but the, the distraction, perhaps the challenger can take advantage, but still so much fight left. And the former hockey player in the United oh. Television Champion right into that German suplex, but not able to immediately capitalize. This might be just enough for Dan Joseph to get his feet under him and start, start mounting a comeback. Ooh, wow, Dan Joseph firing off with clothesline after clothesline to Levi Shapiro. Levi Shapiro doesn't know which way's up. Ah, talk about rubbery legs. Now he's on that uh, spaghetti leg street. But the kick out and Dan Joseph now frustration starting to seep in. What do I have to do if I'm the champion? What do I have to do to finally put this guy in my rear view mirror? Those were three big shots landed just now by Dan Joseph, so I don't blame him for being a little frustrated. I don't know what else he can hit Levi Shapiro with after that. Well, he's going back to the drawing board with some chops to the chest, trying to cave in the sternum of Levi Shapiro. Serving up a couple extra chops on the Price Check Ranch now there. Not the kind of chops you usually no, get at Price no, Check no, Ranch. No, 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 sir. The, uh, Price check butcher shot, but that's the second time in this match that Champ has met that turnbuckle with a whole lot of force. That's a veteran tact right there by Levi Shapiro because he knew exactly where he was and where that turnbuckle was. He's able to utilize it in his offense to get Dan Joseph back, back on the defensive. You can see Levi Shapiro raising that fist. Oh, and then takes a walk, oh. flying fist with that glove. We might have a little something extra behind a new champion oh. on the way. Not yet. Close call. Dan Joseph had to dig deep to that kick out. He just got hit extremely hard. You can still see him in pain right now. Wow. But think about how much effort it takes for, for Dan Joseph to kick out. How much energy is he expounding just to get his shoulders off the mat? That is beyond effort. That is heart right there. The spirit of a warrior. Man, that flying fist. And he had him dead to rights in the center of the ring. And still, Dan Joseph fighting back. Boy, is taking a trip to Snot Bubble City here. These two guys going at it with everything they've got. A lot of force in that back elbow. Dan Joseph has got the challenger rocked again. Oh. Cross body momentum, took him over. Oh, 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 going for the claw. Can he get it? If he, if he gets the claw on Dan Joseph, we might see a new television champion. Blake, he's, he's got two away. on one though. He's got that two on one inches. wrist control, is it enough? You talked about that tendon strength, Alyssa, in the past, in that claw. It's, it, it was inches away, now getting a little extension. Oh, very good positional advantage Levi Shapiro did there. He went from knee on belly to almost full mount, where he's got significant more weight behind his hand now. I'm not sure Dan Joseph's gonna be able to hold him off. Dan's gotta watch the shoulders too. Could be in trouble for a pin attempt. Oh, trying to shift his weight and get out of there and torque the arm to get the hands away from the cranium. I mean, what a what an effort to try and battle this claw, but how much is this taken out of the champion? Is Dan Joseph fighting a losing battle? But now, wow, oh my gosh, Dan Joseph going Man strength, yeah, bending manipulating back. Manipulating the digits there, yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. Oh, there we go, long way down. He's put a whole lot of people away. But oh, one, two. Three, Look at four, Price. a six count, seven or eight. This match could have been over three times over now, guys. The champion should have defended already. Can you imagine what is going through the mind of Dan Joseph? Dan Joseph he certainly has a bone to pick with Howdy Price. That well, could have been it. In the past, Levi Shapiro and, and Price had a, <gasps> had a gripe, and now the low blow. No. It's, Unbelievable. It should have been over already, guys. And now what is he doing? Look here, he's, 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 he's loading the glove, he's putting something in there. How he Price slipped him, some sort of object. Absolutely despicable. Poor Dan Joseph, trying to get some kind of breath back into his body and suffering already. Loaded glove to the dome of Dan Joseph. The eyes looking very strange there. Knocked him absolutely cold and now insult oh. to injury. 
The claw locked in. There's no, he's already knocked out and no, not like this. Here is your winner and new United Television Champion, Levi Shapiro. History made. Howdy Price pours himself into the ring with the United Television title. I can't believe it. What a travesty the way this went down. Let's take a look back at it, guys. Replay brought to you by Primetime Live each and every week on pay-per-view. Well, this is the flip of what happened on Primetime Live. My goodness, here we see it. Long way down by the champion, Dan Joseph. He had him down for nine seconds there, guys. But now you can see where Levi Shapiro took it upon himself to deliver the low blow to the champion. It's really what shifted the, the match in his favor. And then, Blake, that shot with the loaded glove, what's that going to do to you? Unbelievable. When you add a little bit of weight to the hand like that, it's almost like putting brass knuckles in your hand. Here we see the effects. Victory there for Levi Shapiro. He finally got it done in perhaps his final opportunity, but the deck was stacked and the glove was loaded. And I can only hope that one day justice will be done. We'll see you next time on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. New Japan Pro Wrestling returns August 14th at Los Angeles Coliseum. Featuring Carl Anderson and Doc Gallo, Jay White, John Moxley, and more. Tickets on sale now. I struggled to stand for a shower, and after falling in the tub, I felt it was only a matter of time before I broke a hip. If you worry about the risk of an accidental fall getting in or out of the bath, could a walk-in tub be right for you? Search Consumer Affairs Walk-In Tubs to find great deals, like a free shower package upgrade. Once you turn 60, you have to realize there are limitations, whether you want to admit it or not. My walk-in tub has helped me to continue to enjoy a much better quality of life. Why decide between a walk-in tub or shower when you could have both? Call now and we'll upgrade your new SafeStep walk-in tub purchase with our exclusive free shower package. My husband said walk-in tubs are for old people, but I was more interested in feeling young and staying in the game. That's why I recommend a walk-in tub to everyone. Call 800-928-0124. That's 800-928-0124. 800-928-0124. Call now. All right, wrestling fans, a lot going on here in Championship Wrestling. I am joined at this time by the man who currently holds the United Television Championship, the new champion, Levi Shapiro, and of course, joined by Howdy Price. Levi, it's been a long road to this title. I know how much this means to you. You are finally the United Television Champion. Oh, John Roberts, you don't know how good it is to hear that. It's been humble beginnings and a long road for Levi Shapiro. You know I've been in Championship Wrestling in the United Wrestling Network for some time now. I've done my duty. Me and the Classic Connection, me and my former tag team partner, Buddy Royal, we put in the time and we did the work. But you know what? I didn't need Buddy Royal, just like I never needed him. I kicked his butt to the side and I took what was mine. And you know what that is, John Roberts? This title right here, the United Wrestling Network Television Championship. And I'd like to say one thing to all the imposters out there. You might think that you're a television champion, but I am a real television champion because the United Wrestling Network is broadcasted on real televisions across the United States and the entire world. So you know what? I linked up with my man Howdy Price right here because I know what gold is. And I'm going to let Howdy Price do the rest of my talking. <laughs> howdy, howdy. <laughs> it's a beautiful story. What started off as a, as a dream, what started off as a little tiny seed was planted. And then a, a, little, a, a, a little bull came and watered it himself. And he said, oh, we're going to grow. And we're going to just go big and strong. And our golden horns are going to start sprouting. And we just kept watering it. And we kept dreaming it. And then all of a sudden, the bull grew a big iron claw. 
And then the golden opportunity just started trickling upwards. And now it stands tall, taller than anything, taller than any structure, taller than any mighty redwood. A big, grand, golden charging bull with an iron claw and the television championship. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, folks, you can see just how important the United Television Championship is to Howdy Price and the man who currently holds it, Levi Shapiro. Folks, we'll be right back to Championship Wrestling. Championship action coming your way. Here we see Phoenix's favorite son, three-time Arizona state champion, EJ Sparks came razor close to winning the United Television Championship when Dan Joseph was the champion. Came close to upsetting Hammerstone on pay-per-view on Primetime Live for the West Coast Pro title. And now another shot at television title gold. Here comes Howdy Price. Yep, and there go our eardrums. And there he is, the champ. Timeless, Levi Shapiro, somebody that you spend quite a bit of time with, James Kincaid. Yeah, sometimes against my will, he is a student of history, a student of the game is Levi Shapiro. And then of course he's got Howdy Price, who's gonna help him find any and every shortcut to victory. And of course he's also got that glove, which has come into play quite a bit, Blake. Yeah, that loaded glove. I've been trying to figure out what the deal is with that thing. If it's got some type of steel knuckles or a weight or, or what he's doing or what he's messing with that glove, because he has been hitting people with it, knocking them out. Whatever it is that he is putting in that glove, it has been effective. Oh, it sure has. It helped him win the television title in his fourth opportunity with then champion Dan Joseph. Then they bought off Jack Cartwright right for for his first title defense and he did put it on the line against former champion dan joseph but once again wow. used that loaded glove we clearly saw something handed to him and slipped into the glove you know i think he uses it to just really amp up that iron claw that he has perfected and we'll see if he uh toes the line in this one here to set the stage adnan Qureshi. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United Television Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Phoenix, Arizona, weighing in at 170 pounds, Phoenix's favorite son, E.J. Sparks. Sparks looks ready to go, another big opportunity. And introducing his opponent, being accompanied to the ring by Howdy Price. Howdy! From the last stop on the loop, weighing in at 210 and three quarters pounds, Spelt. he is the United Television Champion, Timeless Levi Shapiro! Whole lot of gold, baby! Main event time here, guys. United Television title on the line. Blake, give us your keys to success for both champion and challenger. For EJ Sparks to stay out of the way of that loaded glove, he needs to use his agility, his range, and keep this a striking match, but keep an eye on that right hand of Levi Shapiro. All right, and for the champion. The champion's got to try and get whatever it is that he gets from Howdy Price and hit EJ Sparks with it. I think it's that simple for Levi Shapiro. Yeah, I think, I think Blake makes a great point there, is that Levi, you know, since being teamed up with Howdy Price, is sort of... A a abandoned even trying to win without a shortcut. It's like the, that's his insurance policy. It is his go-to move now. That's his MO for yes. certain. And it's unfortunate because I have seen him do some fantastic wrestling with the classic connection and Buddy Royal. So I don't really think he needs to take these shortcuts, but I think that's what he's going to do. No, and, and to James's point, he is a, he really is a student of the game. I mean, he, he has adopted techniques from some of the greats from decades in this great sport. Yes, no doubt about it. It's very Roman of him. You know, it takes what he likes and adapts it into his own stratagems and, you know, sort of makes the most of it. Now, taking some strategy tips from Howdy Price is Levi Shapiro. But, TK, back to your point about EJ Sparks. He's come so close 
uh, to winning gold recently. You gotta believe he's gonna break through here and this could be his opportunity right here to do it. In the past, we do know that he can win the big one. Again, part of championship wrestling from Arizona, three-time Arizona yes. State champion. Of course, that title held currently by Ray Rosas and, and, and that's one that I neglected to mention. AJ Sparks came extremely close to winning back that title as well. So early on in this match, we saw EJ Sparks throw a kick and Levi Shapiro kind of move backwards from it. Again, we saw right there, EJ Sparks drop Levi Shapiro with a kick. The more he can keep this fight at kicking range, the more it's going to be an EJ Sparks favor. I do not recommend him tying up with Levi right here. Well, especially not with that gloved hand, that's for certain. I'll take it easy on There you go. I think, I think, oh. Come on. Can't get drawn into Levi's yeah. games. This is what Levi is a master at. Just trying to bait EJ Sparks oh, is Levi Shapiro. Oh, it suckered him in, you know, again, one of the oldest tricks in the book, and now takes him on a trip to the turnbuckle. Starting to pick up the pace here, and that might bode well for the challenger. Springboard into the flying forearm, and you can see almost instincts there. Uh, Levi Shapiro immediately tried to roll out of there, but nothing doing. EJ Sparks not having it. Just so fluid in the ring is EJ Sparks. That was a thing of beauty there. He is looking good in the early going here. Wow, perfectly placed by EJ Sparks. Like you talked about him getting that distance, that range, using his reach with the feet. He's doing it right now. A lot of strikes, high volume striking by the challenger. He was doing a fantastic job of disengaging after landing. He tried to throw a few punches there and got stuck on Levi Shapiro. Now Levi's got control of him again. He needs to disengage at the end of these exchanges to pre prevent being held on to. Levi Shapiro is an expert at using his environment as a weapon, but nice block there by Phoenix's favorite son, who starts unloading the kicks. Big time body kicks right there. Boy, if he can t ke catch the solar plexus, like he can take the wind right out of the champion. Or even the liver. Le or EJ Sparks has a fantastic kick. And wow, beautiful counter there in the corner. EJ Sparks has a fantastic kick with a great pivot, which really increases the power output. If he can land a liver shot or a solar plexus shot, it could absolutely put Levi Shapiro down. He needs to keep these kicks up. Excellent point, and he's doing that. High volume striking again, but look at that. Single leg there, and again, the veteran wears of the champion, James. Yeah, I was just going to say, Levi Shapiro looked lost there for a moment, but never for long as he sort of cycles through that Rolodex of what to do, how to counter. Levi Shapiro always seems to come up with some type oh, of man, answer. The beads go flying. Oh, <laughs> what a shot. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. Welcome back, everyone. Main event for the United Television Championship. And throughout, throughout the break, guys, more aggressive offense by the champion, just dropping EJ Sparks right on the hard edge of the apron. Yeah, Levi Shapiro looked right at home, taking it to EJ on the outside, and EJ, now trying to, as we are back live here, EJ Sparks trying to fight out of, you know, what Levi Shapiro's got, just a stranglehold on this matchup right now. And Blake, I gotta tell you, EJ Sparks, after eating that punishment on the outside, he's lost a lot of starch. He has slowed way down. Yeah, he's the kind of guy who needs to have a little pop in his step, especially if he wants to land these big flying attacks like uh -huh. this. Maybe I, wow. maybe I spoke too soon. Springboard there by Sparks finds a way, digs down deep continues to fight on. Oh, 
You know, I think it's fitting that, you know, EJ's wearing all that gold in, in his gear. I, he thinks that today's the day that he claims United Television title. He's come so close and he's come so far. Is today his destiny? We will see. Nice power slam by the champion. Perfectly executed. No wasted motion and almost puts him away. If EJ Sparks wants to win this title, he needs to have a better diversity in his attacks and his targets. He threw several kicks to the exact same location and Levi Shapiro was able to counter that. That's why he's on his back right now. He needs to mix it up. Both guys have knockout power. EJ Sparks, the challenger, hold on as the champion goes for the cover. The difference is EJ does it with that roundhouse rhythm, the big kick, and typically the champion does it with an illegal foreign object. Oh, he might be sizing them up for the claw here, guys. Look out, it's got him measured. Got his eyes on him. EJ Sparks, though, with it scouting. Can he hold him off, though? Ooh, two, on, two on one. Oh, but Levi Shapiro's using both hands now. He's getting his weight behind it. If Levi can get his weight on top of this, EJ Sparks needs to get out from underneath. Beautiful job getting back up to his feet. Wow, Shapiro was inches away from locking that in. And when he does, it's generally the beginning of the end. But sticking and moving right now is Phoenix's favorite son. Boy, the athleticism is so impressive in Sparks. That's got to be a terrifying point of view, though, to see that claw coming at you. EJ Sparks put the fear of God in him. He's able to get out, but you see more beads going flying. My goodness. I would like to see EJ Sparks try another one of his jumping kick attacks there. Instead of taking his eyes off his opponent, he took his eyes off for a split second go for that backdrop, and now he's on his back. Yeah, I was going to say, I agree with you, Blake, but that's hard to do when you're flat on your back looking at the lights and dropping the elbow. Timeless. That's timeless offense. That's Tried and true. And now, but oh. this, the lackadaisical cover, that's not going to get it done. Not going to get it done against a combatant the caliber of EJ Sparks. That could fire him up. Yeah, you know, that could get him right back into this matchup. You know, slapping him around like this. Levi Shapiro, you keep doing that. You got to be careful. You're going to get hurt, Levi. Either that or you're going to see a second win out of EJ Sparks because he starts getting emotional just like this. But now he's landing a barrage of different kicks. He's mixing up his targets. He's dropped him to his knees. He's broken down the champion. And, and lethal striking now by EJ Sparks. Unanswered shots here by Phoenix's favorite son. Big windup, maybe telegraph that a bit too much, Blake. Again, that's what I was talking about. He needs to mix up the targets. He can throw the same attacks, but he kicks to the same place repeatedly. Levi has already once counted it, and this is the Ooh. second to low. Oh, the champ was really trying to hyperextend that knee, guys. <laughs> what the five fingers say to the face? Oh. Well, I think Levi, Levi slap. had gotten tired. Slap is yeah, slap it was is the answer. It was rhetorical. It was rhetorical. <laughs> I thought so. But yeah, Levi Shapiro is trying to hyperextend there because he's getting tired of eating those shots from the educated feet of EJ Sparks. Now it's very smart of Levi Shapiro to start attacking the knee because those legs are the main weapon of EJ Sparks. If you can take those weapons out, then you're really reducing his offensive ability. Howdy Price trying to fan the champion, trying to get him uh, back to consciousness here because he sees, he sees his meal ticket going right out the window, rolling through into the leg drop and... and Smart move to roll him back to the center to try and make championship history, but only a count of two. Hand was coming down, though, guys. Yeah, that, that ring awareness and ring positioning by EJ Sparks was very high level. That's the difference between a beginner or a guy that's pretty good and championship quality. And EJ Sparks, as TK has talked about, he has held the gold. Could be your new TV champion. He's in control right now. He's sparking it up, looking to keep it lit. But oh. Levi Shapiro comes back with a bulldog. Beautiful bulldog there by the champion. Again, lured a, a false sense of security for the challenger. Lured him in, timed it, caught him with the high impact. EJ Sparks' mistake there was turning his back on Levi Shapiro again. He ran to the ropes to try and get some momentum, taking his eyes off just for a split second. And Levi wasn't, oh, Levi's up. He might be looking for that flying fist and that glove, who knows, might already be loaded. He's calling for it. He's taking too, wasting too much he's time. He's taking though. a whole lot of time. Step up in Zaguri by the challenger. And man, boy, what athleticism to get all the way up top. And right now, the champion is rocking and reeling and gets brought down the hard way, courtesy of Sparks. And EJ Sparks can probably kick a giraffe in the head. Did you see the hops on that kid? Wow. And he is continuing to just kick Levi Shapiro from one end of the ring to the other. Levi looks like he might be headed towards Dream Street. 
maybe his championship reign will be a thing of the past if EJ Sparks has his way. That dream's turning into a nightmare in a hurry. Man, Howdy Price is right in the middle of this mix-up right here. EJ Sparks needs to be careful that Howdy does not... And there it is. He tripped him up. He tripped him up. Here we go. Oh, no, the referee saw it. Thank goodness. Well, you know, talk about talk about learning from the past. I mean, I, that's how Ravishing Rick Rude defeated the Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania Five for the Intercontinental Title. They they know all the tricks of the trade. Fantastic knowledge and a great job by the official there to catch that, so that you know that this matchup is going to continue on. We're going to get a true finish here. EJ Sparks needs to do a good job of staying inside the middle of the ring. If he keeps getting close to the edge, I believe that we're going to see more Howdy Price interference. If he's in the middle of the ring where Howdy cannot interfere, I think it's going to be a much safer place for him. Smart point, man. He ate a big right hand there, though, and the knees went weak there. Up the toe, oh, that question mark kick. Tell us about that, Blake. Yeah, so he faked him out with the front kick that he'd thrown several times earlier in the matchup. Faked him with the front kick, came around with that question mark kick right on the Temple Levi Strong. You can tell he's not walking on Clear Street right now. Almost like he could hear you that he needed to attack from other angles. There we see it, that spinning form in the corner. And he's got the champ rocking and reeling, and the title reign of Levi Shapiro is in big jeopardy now. Looks like it is slipping through the Timeless One's grasp right now, but EJ Sparks maybe went to the well once too often. That blocked it though, EJ didn't eat that corner, drives him head first, and again pulls him back. Oh, here we go, he's got him hooked, spark out, spark out submission yeah, he's here. he's under the chin here, both with both the leg and the, and the forearm. He's next to the oh, rope. Oh, Howdy. Howdy with the assist. Give me a break. This is what I'm talking about with the ring positioning. Needing to stay in the middle of the ring. There it is. Look at this. Look at this. Look down at the right oh of your screen. With that is pure evidence. We saw him load the glove, James. We saw it. Yeah, we, we saw it clear as day. EJ doesn't see it. Neither did the referee. EJ's got to be very careful here. Going for another big time kick. But Levi, oh, with the loaded glove. The lights just turned out. He is crumbled. Lights are out indeed when totally limp. Come on. Uh, Here is your winner and still United Television Champion, Levi Shapiro. Man, Levi Shapiro loading that glove up and leaving EJ Sparks absolutely starched on the mat. Again, how many more people is he going to load up and leave sleeping? EJ Sparks had him in the spark out, though. He was the new champion, if not for Howdy Price. A disgusting display, a vulgar display of power. But once again, digging down deep, breaking the rules, retaining, if you can call it that. We'll see you next week on Championship Wrestling. Not again. Are you or someone you know suffering from drugs or alcohol and need help? With private insurance, treatment may be available at little or no cost. By calling us with the patient's private insurance card, we will explain all treatment options. Admissions counselors are standing by. All calls are confidential. This is a free service. Take the first step. Let us help you today. Call 1-800-943-5966. You've decided to go back to school. Good for you. So, which would you rather do? Get up early, get dressed, drive to college, find a parking spot, walk across campus, only to sit in a giant lecture hall, or earn your degree from home with Independence University. I have two small children, a 10-year-old and a four-year-old, so the online format and the flexibility was a must. I could work at my own pace, and I was still able to take care of my kids while going to school. We'll even provide you with a new laptop and tablet to keep when you graduate and a personal student success team. I have had such personalized attention, and it's an online degree. If I had a question on the coursework, I always got my answer within an hour or two. I will never be able to express what I owe this institution. Independence University, online, but never alone. Call 1-800-768-2670, 1-800-768-2670. It is main event time, and there you see the golden boy shining like never before, and perhaps it's because just three weeks ago, it seems that Jordan Clearwater was able to finally put 
Jack Banning in his rear view mirror and he gets back to where he belongs in championship competition. Yeah, I think that it's great that he's back focused and dedicated to his goal, that he's not distracted by the emotional investment he had in Jack Banning. Dedicated to his goal, dedicated to maybe getting some gold back around his waist here. He has a tall task. I am interested to see if there are any lasting effects, be they physical or mental, though, from that last man standing match. I, I can't imagine the challenger to be 100%. Time will tell. And here comes the champion flanked by Howdy Price. And talk about big matches at Halston Body's Coastline Clash. Just last week in our main event, Levi Shapiro surviving, walking away with the United Television title. Was not victorious, however. Time limit draw, but certainly the future of Jack Cartwright the challenger last week, in doubt. Yeah, Levi Shapiro using every bit of the champion's advantage uh, to escape. Still champion, not an outright victory. And like you said, the future of Jack Hart right now clouded. And the vice-like grip, no, not of the claw, but of Howdy Price's grubby hands on that television championship continue. You know, we saw a quick exchange of words there from Jordan Clearwater and Levi Shapiro as Levi was getting into the ring. You can tell we see a little bit more aggressive of a Jordan Clearwater than we've ever seen before. Here to set the stage more on that momentarily, Adnan Qureshi, take it away. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United Television Championship. Introducing first, the challenger. Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the golden boy, Jordan Clearwater. <laughs> and introducing his opponent, being accompanied to the ring by Howdy Price. From the last stop on the loop, weighing in at 215 and three quarters pounds, he is the United Television champion, Timeless, Levi Shapiro. A couple of things to note from right there. Jordan Clearwater, much more aggressive, but he was also watching his back when he got up in the corner. He is very aware of the cheating that goes on with these two, and he's probably going to be prepared for it. Well, and probably, and prepared and accustomed to watching his back after the history, recent history that he had with Jack Banning, but trying to get past that, here you see what it's all about, the prestigious United Television title on the line. Some greats have held that. Man, Clearwater's out there in the middle of the ring, ready to get started, and Shapiro does not look as excited for this bell to ring. War of words between the two before they have even engaged physically here trying to feel one another out. But yeah, I mean, Clearwater, he looks so focused, so measured in there. Levi's gotta watch out. Yeah, I'm actually a big fan of the aggression that I'm seeing out of Jordan Clearwater thus far. He definitely needs to control it and apply it at the appropriate times to make sure that his judgment doesn't get clouded and he makes poor decisions in there. But he needs to be aggressive to come out here and put the champion away. Be interesting, as we noted, to see if Clearwater is 100% physically, changes levels, nicely done, into the single leg takedown, and the champion gets to the safety of the ropes. That'll force the break. Clearwater's been very active in the United Wrestling Network and out. Matches on, N uh, on New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong, uh, right here in the Ocean View Pavilion. We've seen him in the National Wrestling Alliance as well. But again, the former Heritage Champion, that title was robbed due yes. to the actions of Jack Banning, and he'd love to get the television title, but right now in control, the champ. Yes, he's in there with a the master, but Clearwater giving as good as Levi did. Oh, a little bit of one-upsmanship from the Golden Boy. You love to see it, right, Blake? Absolutely, that was a beautiful t uh, technical sit through to back control where he spun around and played with him a little bit, just like Levi did. Again, a beautiful sit through by Levi Shapiro now. Bit of a gator roll now by the champion and trying to make it so that the challenger doesn't know which end is up. Great amateur style ra wrestling, grappling in the early going. Both champion and challenger seem to be up to the task. 
Risk control now as Shapiro trying to get to the safety of the ropes again, but the challenger not having any part of it was wise to it this time. Yeah, rare mistake from Levi Shapiro. Usually he knows the geometry of that ring better than anybody. And boy, he is just desperate trying to get out. He manages to now to look at going for the proverbial timeout. He's gonna go for a walk. You, you can tell. We're gonna go to break, folks. We'll be back. Our title matchup main event continues right after this. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now. If you or someone you know is stuck waiting for payments scheduled over years and years and you need cash right now, Novation can help you right now. Is your money right? You shouldn't be trapped in a payment schedule that was set years ago. You should be able to get your money now when you need it. And Novation will get you the most money, which means you'll keep more of your money. And speak with Novation before you sign with another company or you could be leaving money on the table. You'll never know if you're getting a bad deal unless you get an independent bid. Novation will give you the real competitive bid you need. At Novation, we offer a time frame guarantee. If we don't get your money by the agreed deadline, we'll pay you interest for every day of delay at more than 10 times the national bank average. Make sure you're getting the best deal. Call right now. We can help you get cash you need right now, not in 10 or 20 years from now. Call 1-800-604-0483. 1-800-604-0483. Shapiro, so wily so tough to take that title away from him because he is the he is a master of the championship advantage he's a master of creating disaster shenanigans shortcuts uh yeah wiley is a nice way to put it. and there you see the source of it all howdy price trying to direct traffic jordan clearwater is doing a good job here of attacking this choke he's under the neck but he doesn't have control of the body that's why he's unable to finish his choke here now levi shapiro is backing him into the corner to fight his way out yeah perhaps if he had the hooks in shapiro wouldn't have been able to get back to his feet and back uh, clearwater into the corner but Breaking the hold, gotta give credit where credit is due because Shapiro got out of a bad way there and now unloading a nasty shot and this thing's getting physical oh. in a hurry. Gotta love it in our main event. God, lighten them up, back and forth we go. And you're right, it's, it's Clearwater now going for more. You can see just the pain racking all over Levi Shapiro's face. There's such a difference in the damage of each of these men's strikes. Levi Shapiro hit Jordan Clearwater hard. Jordan Clearwater hit him back much, much harder. Clearwater giving Shapiro a little preview of the June gloom that is perhaps to come. And now it might be time, Midas touch time, if the challenger can connect. Oh, give me a break. And there you see the dividends that Howdy Price can pay. Levi Shapiro oh. digging down deep in his bag of tricks. What a spin kick. Yeah, it's beautiful. Jordan Clearwater barely dodged the first kick, and he spun around and sent a second kick surprising Jordan Clearwater. Next snap now to boot. Center of the ring, champions got him in trouble, and he had Howdy Price out there like he was grabbing into the cookie jar and really turned the table. Clearwater was on his way to perhaps hitting the Midas touch and claiming his second major title here in the National or in the uh, United Wrestling Network. Yeah, the cemetery was going to be the last stop on the loop for Levi Shapiro, but then Howdy Price wrapping the leg. Referee didn't see it, costing Clearwater. Now you see the champion just, you give him an inch, he's going to take a mile. Oh, wow, Beautiful look at the camera transition line. there. Beautiful transition by Levi Shapiro to control the arm lock, switch it up, and then utilize that control to throw Jordan Clearwater face first into the turnbuckle. And we got to remember, gentlemen, fans watching at home, that those extremities, upper extremities of the challenger, were put under extreme pressure. He was in a straight jacket oh, look at for this. a long time, and Howdy Price, again, just digging in literally here. You know, uh, Clearwater in that straight jacket for a long period of time in that last man standing match, so. That had to do some damage. Yeah, absolutely, and just the insult to injury. You see the grubby paws of that Cretan Howdy Price all over Clearwater a moment ago. Levi Shapiro continuing to press the advantage. Something worth mentioning with uh, Jordan Clearwater being in the straight jacket, he was still able to win that matchup, meaning he is very, very dangerous with just his legs alone. He can put matches away. 
One of the most impressive things I've ever seen was that. And Jordan Clearwater continues to show the fortitude, the fight, the resilience. He's got the champ on spaghetti legs, oh. tilting at windmills, and down he goes. Those are some big shots by Jordan Clearwater. Fantastic job. Come. Whoa. Been very effective with the leg drop. Going for the cover. History to be made. No, not yet. And uh, yeah, boy, I'll, I'll tell you, the champion was punching at ghosts there momentarily and then he would be haunted by losing the title, but not yet. Late leg hook by Clearwater there might have, might have cost him, could have put Levi away otherwise. But Levi's still in a very bad position. He is hurt right now. If Jordan Clearwater can continue to apply more damage, see, he's still oh. wobbling. That man is hurt. If Jordan Clearwater can plant him on the mat, he might be able to get another pinfall. Clearwater's measuring, sizing him up maybe. Call the hospital, get a bed ready, either that or a plot. Nobody home there, and uh, Clearwater going for the Midas touch, got hung out to dry. Watch out for Howdy Price. Again with Howdy Price. That time it looked like it actually kind of hurt Jordan Clearwater's leg, and if they're able to take that Midas touch out of the equation, this matchup could go somewhat differently. Yeah, could have a torn hamstring here. Now a stretch muffler, more damage, more damage being done. Looking for a submission. This is a new wrinkle in the offense of the champion after Howdy Price took liberties on the outside. Jordan fighting with everything he could with that left leg to get out of that. You're right, Levi Shapiro saw them tweak the leg and proverbially put a, I mean, put a bullseye. Oh, here it comes! Couldn't hit it! And now hyperextension here, Blake, hyperextension, and now stepping through, more pressure. Yeah, that is a lot of pressure on that knee right now, especially with what Cody Price is doing the He's clawing the knee! We, I've never seen Whoa. this before, he's got the claw applied to Jordan's knee! Oh, he taps! Here is your winner and step, step, oh. And now he will not release this hold, this devastating hold. Well, the preceding program apparently brought to you by the Price Check Ranch. Howdy Price, Levi Shapiro. We saw the rise to power as United Television Champion, subsequent title defenses. Shapiro, 21st century old school, seems to live by the classic pro wrestling moniker of win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Yeah, you know, those boys have found themselves in some hot water with a couple of the boys in the back after cheating. And Levi Shapiro and Howdy Price got on my nerves once. I even had to chase Howdy Price into the ring on primetime live. Well, I think we're going to get a little revenge. Maybe we'll get on their nerves a little bit, Jack, because I'm told we have one clip left on this jam-packed episode. Yeah, we have a special thank you for Howdy Price and the Price Check Ranch, and it's coming up right now. And uh-oh, the walls are closing in for one, for one Levi Shapiro. Swing and a miss, but Idol certainly didn't miss. Oh, man. He's... Oh, get, 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 get out of here. Howdy Price. Howdy finding himself in the wrong part of town. Again, no friends in that locker room for Howdy Price or Levi Shapiro. The noose tightening around him. <laughs> He's trying to buy off and pay off anybody that'll listen. Oh boy. Blake Troop looks like he's he's uncorking a hand grenade. Oh my God, if he hits him, he's gonna knock him right out of 2020. <laughs> he faded, look at that. I think he's got more than Cole running down his legs. Does Howdy Price. I think he saw the, the ghost of, uh, of Punch's future there. <laughs> How about that, guys? I haven't seen Howdy Price run that fast. It's, it really, he's run into the refrigerator. But I guess Levi Shapiro does have to take on all comers, maybe all at once, according to that. We'll be back next week with more great action from the United Wrestling Network when, once again, it's time to fight on.